Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a new episode of the Metal Meltdown! And today, we're looking at the latest record from Pyron, entitled Abscess Time. I've come to know Pyron and their bizarre concoction of grind, death, noise, and jazz technique pretty well within this last decade. Their albums consistently rank as some of the most challenging and even horrifying records released within their respective years, all the while continuously expanding and refining their sound and taking as much influence from the broader spectrums of extreme and experimental music as possible. To the point now where a blanket term like extreme metal or avant-garde metal doesn't really seem to do this band any justice. And as such, I went into Abscess Time having some kind of idea already in my head as to how this record was going to sound, as to how it was going to play out, and as to how I was going to feel coming out of it. And while I wasn't outright wrong regarding any of the predictions I had made beforehand, I do feel that, in retrospect, it was very foolish of me to even attempt to make such predictions. Because simply saying that Pyron is as weird as ever on Abscess Time doesn't cut it. This is more than weird. This is more than violent. This is more than any other kind of word you could use to describe this record. Abscess Time is an uncompromising mental clusterfuck would be a more appropriate description. Abscess Time is a journey into the most sadistic corners of our society and our minds would be a more appropriate description. Abscess Time is Pyron at their most... Pyroniest. The fact that I had to make up a word should already say a lot about what this record has in store for y'all folks. In a press release obtained by Metal Injection, Pyron writes that Abscess Time embodies the anxiety and internal distress that we have experienced while living in the present day United States of America. Many personal and cultural traumas rattled in our minds while we wrote this album. Going on to say the musical language of Abscess Time is simultaneously referential and singular. We've compiled our wide range of influences in such a way that it's sometimes difficult to discern where one thread begins and another one ends. This is not Pyron trying to build up some hype and anticipation. They're being 100% serious here. From start to finish, this album is so musically dense yet flexible, while bleeding anxiety and mental stress. It can be felt in the noisy, lethargic, almost drunken drawl of title track Abscess Time. It can be felt in the bitter, nihilistic, avant-garde death metal of Another Day in Paradise. It can be felt within the absolutely nightmarish soundscapes of Systalgia. It is felt within the album's often reflective and striking lyrics, which explore the idea that society itself, the weight of the world, is continuously crushing down on people, destroying their self-esteem, compromising their mental health, brainwashing them to believe in ideologies and concepts that will harm them every chance they get. Take for instance Down at Liberty Ashes, which not only bluntly spells out how people will literally die in the name of capitalism, but also how when an industry or even a single company makes a mistake, it is sometimes an employee that can pay a very fatal price. With lyrics like submersed in the corn, crushed out of shape, like his bush cans, their livid limbs twisted and washed out with the feed. Hours later, the fruits of subsidy still studded their cold skin like a golden plague. Or on the album's incredibly jarring closing track, Rat King Lifestyle, prodding at how all of us in our own personal quest for fame, adoration, and success often trample the people underneath us, the people beside us, the people we love and hold dear. How we can become so cold, so cruel, so unforgiving in our climb to the top. With lyrics like, you'll learn to aspire, eye the climb up the ladder, master the tunnels, subsisting on refuse, keep tabs on your rivals, picking off the weakest, take the old pleasures from flesh that runs slower. I mean, my god, even the shortest tracks on this album, which in theory should provide a little bit of peace, a little bit of tranquility, clarity, breathing room, are still utterly abrasive and hyper-volatile. A lot of big drops, loop-de-loops, and turns on this particular extreme avant-garde metal roller coaster, to say the least. To the point where one can't help but wonder if it's even that safe to be on this particular roller coaster. But the thing is, folks, this isn't really meant to be 
fun per se, at least not in the way that we look at metal. If you're looking for fun, if you're looking for a more straightforward, extreme little blast of fun, go listen to the new Lamb of God. Go listen to the new Chromags. Because this particular roller coaster is meant for the thrill seekers. This isn't Space Mountain. This isn't Thunder Mountain. This is an actual mountain. And as such, if you are not prepared to climb this mountain mountain, you will be thrown on your ass and left for dead. Not really sure how my roller coaster analogy became a mountain climbing analogy, but fuck it. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is that this album will test you. It will challenge you. It doesn't just expect your patience, it demands it. It commands it. And unlike a similarly complicated and demanding record like Vile Creatures Glory Glory Apathy Took Helm, it's not immediately very cathartic, nor is it trim. There isn't a single moment of this album that I couldn't describe as shocking and jarring, and on top of that, it runs at a pretty uncomfortable 57 minute runtime. I'm sure many of you are saying to yourselves, wow, sounds like Robert hates this fucking thing. Sounds like this was just a really unpleasant experience for him. And you're not a hundred percent wrong, but I was incredibly invested and immersed within Pyron's Sonic universe here. I think they have done exactly what they set out to do with Abscess Time, and I think that they in turn have created their weirdest, their funkiest, their darkest, and their most poignant album to date. Does its inherent messiness and extremity make it incredibly hard to swallow? Yep. Uh, is it an album for everyone? Fuck no. But for the people that this album was made for, I think they are going to have, as weird as this is to say, a fucking blast with this. I would give this a 4 out of 5. Maybe not the most enthusiastic, considering how this thing just completely screwed with my mind in the last two weeks, but a 4 out of 5 nonetheless. This is one of those albums that every time I come back to it, I'm going to find something new, similar to other albums released this year like Fluid Existential Inversions from Intronaut, Come Forth to Me from Mercurion, and dare I say, even some tech metal avant-garde icons like records from Voivod and Gorguts. I mean, just in the time that I've been listening to this album, my score has changed quite drastically. I was initially going to give this a 2.5 out of 5 because I initially felt that this was the point where Pyron have just gotten way too goddamn weird. But then time passed and I came back to the album and I've continued to explore it. I've continued to dissect it. I've continued to research everything that inspired the record. And again, I can't say that I like this record in the traditional sense, but I am completely fascinated by it. Treat this album the way you might treat a very complex and strong bourbon. Unappealing at first, but with time your palate will evolve, it will mature, and it will reveal all of these notes and flavors that you initially could not get. So four to five, approach this thing with fucking caution more than anything else I've reviewed so far this year, but please approach it nonetheless. And that is it! For the Metal Melt, I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown. He fucking immediately, and you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.